Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the video. All right, welcome back. So let's take a look as to a reason why we needed to make our own um, uh, basically dialogue source. Well, first of all, I'm going to hide the engine content because we don't need it anymore. But remember when a few tutorials ago I added an NPC answer and I said leave or something like that. Um, and when we had this answer, right, we kind of, hey, and then we had this end conversation, and then now it's, we're stuck. All right. Well, hmm. So what do we need to do there? Well, first of all, if we go to our um, My Demo dialog widget, and we type in end, you can see this end conversation here. So it usually looks like this. And if we go to end conversation, uh, that's where that's where everything um, is. Now, in order to make sure that this works, you can go to print screen, and you know we can go anywhere here. Hey, and then it says, okay, good. So we know that it's working. So what we need to do is we need to resume everything, right? So if we hop in to the third person game mode, uh, we know. Um, that uh, uh, we know that uh, there's there's a few things uh, that that technically we need to do. Okay, so if we look here, we have hey, and then our end conversation. So what we need to do is if we go back into our third person game mode, and I'm just going to kind of move these accordingly here. Um, when we show the mouse cursor here, we need to add in another variable. And we're going to call this is in dialog. Okay. And we're going to set is in dialog here to true once uh, once this is all set here. Now let's hop back. Let's add in a branch here. And then if is in dialog, and I'm just going to kind of move that up here. So if is in dialog is false, which should be if we compile this here, yeah, if, if it's false, then we can we can basically set it so that um, uh, we can basically set it here so that um, we won't be able to, to add in multiple ones of these here. So if I kind of move this over here and we do buy, here we go. And that's that's what we want here. So, but I, I should actually show you what, what I'm trying to do here. So if we go buy, and then if I try and hit them again, it doesn't work, okay? So you're gonna definitely need these kinds of variables here. But what that means is that we have to add in uh, a couple of other items here. So as we get this game mode here, um, so it looks like this is from a different tutorial, which um, I did work this through off screen, but it obviously didn't work and I have to re rethink of it. Um, but anyway, nevertheless, let's cast to third person game mode. And then we're going to get the game mode here. And then once we resume character, we're going to set is in dialogue. We're going to set that back to true. Okay. And so this, this is, beca uh, this is important uh, because like, for instance, okay, so we go by and then here we go again. And then it didn't quite work. Um, and let's see, set is in dialogue. Oh, we need to set it back to false. That's why. So we got, here we go. Bye. And then we can hit it again by and then we can hit this guy and then by as well okay so so where am I going with this okay so I'm gonna literally copy this over here let's go to my demo dialog widget and then I'm going to paste it um, here okay 
and um, one of the things that we can do actually it might be better to set up a function so I'm going to actually undo that here and I'm going to set up a function here we'll call this uh, resume um, or reset is in dialog okay so that's literally what we're going to do here and we're just going to paste that in here and so that way we don't have to do it again and on top of that it's going to look if I type in reset is in dialog um, it's going to just reset there so so that is what we need to do here so if we do this here end conversation and we're almost we're almost there um, but um, the other thing that you can do um, is once the is in dialogue um, is there um, we can essentially resume uh, resume the character okay um, and so one way to do that well there's many ways to do that so what we need to do and I think the better thing to do here is if we go back to our um, our graph here we have start dialogue um, and we might as well make a couple of other functions in our game mode here we'll call this resume or we'll call this stop character and then we'll add another one called resume character okay and what, let's just go back and just start dialogue here and you can see here that we have this disable input uh, we're going to basically cut that out and then we're going to go to stop into the stop character here and paste it but we need to cast to third person character get player character and that way we need to add in the target of that here okay and so we can literally we stop the character and resume character is literally the same one okay so we can do that here except it's not disable input it's enable input right and then we're gonna uncheck that here and then we're going to uncheck that there okay and so that way we have a good way of doing this here so if we go back to resume character here um, instead of doing all of this here what we'll do is we'll cut this out and um, I think this is um, what we need to do here is we will go cast to third person game mode we'll get the game mode and from this we will resume character okay and so so that way it's a little bit easier so you know and we, the reason why we, we need to do this again in the resume character um, is because we need to satisfy this right here right so uh, I think third person game mode and then if we go into um, reset dialogue right we can delete that and then we can go to cast to third person game mode get game mode and then we will resume character all right and I believe that should work all right now if it doesn't work that's okay so if we do that here um, it looks like we didn't stop so um, and uh, it looks like there's something that's a little bit uh, oh we didn't disable the input let's see stop character um, and looks like so oh yes the start dialogue that's what we need to do we need to stop character and I think that satisfies it so let's try that again all right good 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 hey end conversation and then we can leave all right but you can see you can resume here and then we still have that problem where we, we enter it again so what that means and that's the kind of problem we were we were starting with so once we're here 
we're already um, moving around, right? So let's. So what that means is there's a problem in this area. All right. So after some off-camera work, I've figured it out, and all we need to do here is that this technically doesn't end the uh, the dialogue here. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Actually, you know what I'll do is I will cut this. And what we need to do is we need, need to go to to NPC reply. And generally when you see this remove from parent, that's usually the end of the chain. And it also says close the dialogue. So let's go ahead and let's paste that there. And this should solve the problem. All right. So what's the problem, of course? So we go, hey, and then you can still, you cannot move. And then there you go. So pretty much everything works the same way. And there we go. So that fixes that little problem. Of course, the other one works the same way. You know, you everything works out the same way. It's just that that one thing does that. So just to recap how everything is working here. Uh, so we had to set up our own uh, My Demo Dialog. And in order to basically add in some extra functionality and customization, uh, we needed to do something that was not the, the original uh, plugin. Then we had to make sure that our system works and the way we did that was to set up all of the functionality within the game mode okay and that way the reason and again the reason why I like using the game mode technically you can put it up in the third person character uh, but the game mode is well a place where you can access at any given time for any given reason and this is something that I found really difficult to understand when I first started at Unreal and specifically blueprints. Normally I work with code and that code you can somehow access it one way or another and if you can't then you need to check you know your hierarchy etc. But here you can see that this works out very well. Alright, thanks for listening and I'll see you in another video.